Hello and welcome to another t tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate how to upload Excel files for PAYE return lodgement. First, you need to log in with your correct user ID and password. Once logged into your account, select the Filing Obligations tile. Click Select a Tax Return and choose PAYE from the drop-down. Select a PAYE return, then click the arrow to proceed. Please read these instructions carefully before proceeding. Once loaded, select No for Are you lodging an ill return for this period? When No is selected, Auto Calculation or Provide My Own Tax Liabilities option is displayed. Here you will have two options. When you select the first option, I would like the system to calculate tax liabilities for me. They will be required to use the first Excel version, Auto Calculation Excel. If you select the second option, I will provide the tax liabilities by myself. They will be required to use the second Excel version. Uploading Auto Calculation Excel. For this demo, we will select the option, I would like the system to calculate late tax liabilities for me, and click continue. Choosing this option means that the employer will not be providing the tax withheld for that pay period, but rather t will calculate the tax figures. Select the payment period and click on add payment period. A pop-up page is displayed where the employer has to enter the payment details for each employee. There is also a download template option available on this page where you can download a copy of Excel FL template. Click the download template option to download the Excel file template. Note, the default name of this Excel file is Payday Auto. Open the downloaded Excel file template. Here, the employer is required to enter the information in the Excel for each employee, every pay period. Please note that if you are copying details from other sources to this Excel, it's recommended that you select Paste as Values option. This will ensure that the data that you're pasting will be in the same format as the Excel template. You will get an error message if date is entered using wrong format or if date is incorrectly entered. The system validates the TIN against the date of birth. If the details entered does not match with FRCS records for that employee, there will be an error message displayed when the file is uploaded in TPORS. So please ensure that all your employees have updated their information with FRCS. The employers are required to make a selection of the employee tax code and residency status. There is a drop-down option available for these two fields. The employer is also required to enter the start and end date of employment. The date has to be within the current filing period. The formats for dates will be same date, forward slash, month, forward slash, year or date, dash, month, dash, year. The other details required in this file is the year-to-date payments and year-to-date taxes deducted for that employee till the current payment period. The employer is required to enter payments related to the current pay. These are normal pay field, director's remuneration, bonus overtime. The next set of fields, the employer is required to enter a payments for redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Going forward, the employers are required to get prior approval from FRCS if they are making any redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Once approved, FRCS will provide the employer an approval number for any of the relevant redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. The employer is also required to enter the approval number and any redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments in the relevant fields in this Excel. The last two fields the employer has to enter is the FNPF deduction amount and gross up employee. For gross up employee, there is drop down option for the employer to select yes or no. Select yes if you have any employee working for whom you are paying the taxes. The taxes deducted from their pay are the obligations of the employer. Their pay was grossed up to cater for the tax S to be paid by the employer. Save and close the Excel after all details are entered. Excel. Go back to the Add Payment Period pop-up screen in t and click the Import button. Select the PAYE Auto file in which the employer filled the details of employee records for that particular period. The records on the Excel will be auto-populated on t -Pause. If there are any data entry or validation error, it will be highlighted once you click on Confirm. 
After all the error is rectified, the employer can continue with return filing after going through summary page and declaration. Uploading the manual Excel version. The employer needs to select, I will provide the tax liabilities by myself, and click continue. Choosing this option means that the employer will be calculating the tax figures before providing it to FRCS. Similar PAYE return lodgement screen is displayed. The employer is required to click on add payment period. Click on download template on the pop-up page. An Excel file with the name Payday Manual will be saved on your computer. Open the Excel file. This is the second version of Excel for PAYE Excel upload function. The fields on this Excel are same as the fields on the first Excel version, but with three additional fields, Income Tax, SRT and ECAL. Please note that if you are copying details from other sources in this Excel, it's recommended that you select Paste as Values option when pasting data. Similar errors to the auto calculation method will occur if you enter the wrong format for dates. The system validates the TIN against the date of birth. If the details entered does not match with FRCS records for that employee, there will be an error message displayed when the file is uploaded in TPOS. So please, ensure that all your employees have updated their information with FRCS. The employers are required to make a selection of the employee tax code and residency status. There is a drop-down option available for these two fields. The employer is also required to enter the start and end date of employment. The date has to be within the current filing period. The formats for dates will be the same as date, forward slash, month, forward slash, year, raw, date, dash, month, dash, year. The other details required in this file is the year-to-date payments and year-to-date taxes deducted for that employee till the current payment period. The employer is now required to enter payments related to the current pay. These are normal pay field, director's remuneration, bonus overtime. TH, the next set of fields, the employer is required to enter R, payments for redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Going forward, the employers are required to get prior approval from FRCS if they are making any redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Once approved, FRCS will provide the employer an approval number for any of the relevant redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. The last five fields the employer has to enter is the FNPF deduction amount, gross up employee, income tax, SRT and ECAO fields. For gross up employee, there is drop down option for the employer to select yes or no. Select yes if you have any employee working for whom you are paying the taxes. The taxes deducted from their pay are the obligations of the employer. Their pay was grossed up to cater for the taxes to be paid by the employer. The employer is required to enter the tax withheld from employee wages by themselves, which means that the system will not calculate the taxes on behalf of the employee but employer will provide their own tax figures which needs to enter in the income tax, SRT and ECAO fields. Save and close the Excel after all details are entered. Go back to the Add Payment Period pop-up screen in TPOS and click on Import. Select the PAYE manual file in which the employer filled the details of employee records for that particular period. The records on the Excel will be populated on the screen thereafter. If there are any data entry errors or validation error, it will be highlighted once you click on Confirm. After all the error is rectified, the employer can continue with return filing after going through summary page and declaration. We hope that you have been able to follow through. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorial videos. For more information or queries, please email info at frcs.org.fj.